Good afternoon. My name is Sharon Gamolka, and I'm the chairman of the Brotherhood of St. Moses the Black Detroit Chapter. This afternoon, we have visiting with us one of our founding members, Father Jerome Sanderson. He's here to speak to us today about St. Moses the Black, our patron saint, and why he is a model of repentance, not just for we who know him, but for everyone who strives to learn more about a closer walk in the Christian faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the early fourth century, there was a phenomenon that happened in Christianity. And it happened in Africa. Certain people wanting to live the scripture, to love God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, fled the world and into the desert where they practiced prayer all day long. They prayed for the world. They prayed for the salvation of humankind. And they led a life that we can't imagine because their whole purpose was to love God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, to love their neighbors themselves. From this phenomenon of these people going into the desert, we got St. Anthony the Great. Now the life of St. Anthony was written by one of his disciples, St. Athanasius the Great. And that book became a, one of the first bestsellers outside of the Bible. It was one of the most read books. And it inspired monasticism throughout the world. So you've heard of St. Francis of Assisi uh, or um, St. Um, Benedict or St. Ignatius Loyola. There were all these monasteries look back to the African fathers, this is what they call them, as their inspiration. Because they set the pattern and they set the bar very high. Now one of these great fathers, and that's who I'm going to tell the story about, was St. Moses. But his story is very unique because unlike many of them who were very pure, beautiful, kind, generous people, he started off as a slave. And then he became a head of a band of thieves and murdered people. And so to see his transformation was quite remarkable. Now my purpose today isn't so much to tell his story, although that will happen, but his story is so recorded in the lives of the Desert Fathers that it, it's like a map of spiritual progress, endeavor. It's very rare in that you see each of the stages of what he went through to go from being a hater of men a man that was feared by all, a man that was accursed to being a saint, a man of wisdom and love. Now Moses the Black, Black was a slave, a man of great strength, and a man of great appetites. He was not only a slave owned by another man, he was a slave to his passions. He was a man, and he was amazingly strong, but he had very little strength to resist his desires, his emotions, his anger. These ruled him as, and made him as much a slave as his master did. His appetites were for wine, women, amusement, every earthly pleasure he desired. Well, as a slave, he was so obstinate, disobedient, and unmanageable that his master, probably fearing for his life, released him. And he journeyed into the desert and there he came across a band of thieves. Now Moses towered above everyone. 
He was a giant of a man. And not only was he a giant of a man, he was very strong and clever. And so before long, he was the leader of that band of thieves. And he began a reign of terror, ravaging the countryside, raiding villages, caravans, homesteads, until his name was feared. And travelers would go way out of their way to avoid his territory, the places where he dwelt. His name struck heart, struck fear in the hearts of those that heard the name of Moses. The authorities tried to catch him many times, but he outwitted them and eluded capture. One day, as he was walking along the Nile, he saw across the river a shepherd herding his sheep. And that shepherd had offended him. Actually, his shepherd's dog had offended him. So he decided he'd swim over and kill that shepherd. But the shepherd saw him coming and buried himself in the sand. And Moses came and looked for him and finally killed two of the sheep put them over his shoulder and swam back across the Nile. He cooked the sheep and ate them and sold the skin to make wine. There was nothing good that you could say about him at that time in his life. <laughs> 